Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG, we're back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be back showing you a lap I did around Imola in the Ford Mustang GT3. Now, I had put a video out a few days ago talking about how I wasn't a massive fan of this car, spent a bit more time trying to get to know it, trying to get to, you know, know sort of the nuances on how to drive the car and it is a little bit different um through some corners you you actually have to go down into like first gear and gears that you wouldn't really think that you need if you're comparing it to other cars so um it definitely did help me in terms of lap time able to improve the lap time massively um still i would say not my favorite handling car but there there is definitely um a route to make the car feel better to drive than what i had initially experienced when i did a race on lfm um there are guys going massively quick with with the mustang as well but for me i still think there's something just something missing to to really enjoy driving the car but let's get stuck into the lap and it's going to be sort of like a tutorial of how to get through certain places on the track where you probably would think you would need different gears or, or something like that so let's get stuck into the video so here we are at imola and um it's a track that can be quite difficult because you you need to maximize riding the curbs you have to maximize pretty much all of the track you've got to be committed a lot of trail breaking and it's of course very easy to invalidate your lap but as we come into the first corner i'm going to slow it down quite a bit um great curb compliance and some of that is some of that is with setup, but I do believe this car has probably got very nice curb compliance. So we'll fly over the curb. I could have actually taken more of that, um, more of that inside curb. I've seen some people almost on the grass going through this corner. So bear that in mind, you do have to take a lot of curb because you need to sort of straighten the car up for the for the next corner where you don't want to run too wide because then you make the following left hander too tight and you may have to get out of the throttle just not to run wide. But we throw it through the first chicane. Again, over the second curb. You see the car, how quick the car settles after coming off of the bumps, which is what you really want in this situation. And then we skip over the next curb. Onto the next chicane, which is probably a little bit even more tricky as we make sure we're using all the track. We're on the right-hand side of the track. We throw it in again over the curbs. And just watch the way the car is able to monster these curves pretty much almost on the grass and look how quick the car settles after going over the bumps but for me this is where you know the car is a little bit a little bit weaker and i'll show you um i just feel like the rotation and the acceleration leaves a little bit to be desired now you kind of have to you actually have to nail it in first gear what i was doing before while i was struggling is i was going to second gear too quick because i was trying to avoid all the torque from the engine in first gear so i was shifting to second too quick and literally the power up the hill was just dead so I was losing so much time you kind of have to you kind of have to get your foot down in first hold the car straight you can see i'm actually using 5tc because when you when you go low on the tc you have to be extremely careful when it's very easy for the back end to step out but um we managed to nail it then up the hill and this is where the car is quite decent now this is the first corner where you're going to see something very different for this corner actually you have to go down to second gear oops i went back for this corner you actually have to go down to second gear for this corner which normally would be too low for all the other cars so as we approach see down to second and again you can you can make a choice you can short shift to third on the exit but i do believe it slightly bogs the car down and does cost you a little bit of lap time or you can get your foot down in second which i feel like is a little bit quicker but the back end will step out um i think i short shifted quite early and i think i lost maybe a fraction of time but again it's one of those things where you know you you if you if you do do it then you have to be careful not to get the car sideways and lose time if you don't do it you're gonna you're gonna lose time because you've shifted to third early so it's all about finding the balance and what you're comfortable with now the downhill section where the car is actually quite stable through here 
I could have actually used more track on um, on the entry into the next corner, but this is one of those corners that you know it feels like it's in between in between gears. It feels like it's in between second and first to get the actual perfect sort of um, you know perfect sort of engine braking for this corner. So for me, second gear always feels a little bit understeery, but first gear is very very hard to get on the power without having a massive snap. So into this corner, I think I keep it in second. And in second gear, it is quite understeery, man. But it does feel like it bogs down quite a bit. Now, again, this is the next interesting part of the circuit where the lap can be literally ruined. And you're going to see, I actually go down to first gear for this corner, which is very weird, you know. Um, as we enter down into second, down into first, and again, I shift up to second pretty quickly. But... It might even be a little bit quicker getting on the power in first and just holding the back end and trying not to make the back end step out. Quite difficult to do because even the second is, can be quite difficult to do. Um, we fight the car a little bit, but for the most part, it's nice and smooth. But as I said, um, some of the gears you just wouldn't really, you know, you wouldn't really pick going to first gear for that section. But again, here we go down to first, cut across the curb there, and again having to use first gear to get the nose in. And that's sort of a trend that I found with this car. You do have to use first gear quite a bit. Just the way how the gears are, you know, just the way how the, the gears are utilized for this car. It's a little bit different. Um, getting to grips with that is going to help you improve your lap times. But we end up doing like a, a 40.5, which is pretty much what I could do in the Bentley and that this was after you know a few laps we did like eight laps and we was able to get down there so the car definitely has potential I did see some guys doing 39 eights I think in the in the in the Mustang so there's definitely time in it um you do have to drive the car a little bit differently man and personally I still do feel like it's probably not something I would use for a season I, I do believe it's going to have tracks where it's absolutely rapid and you're going to be able to um you're going to be able to compete but for me personally i still you know maybe like on a couple of tracks i might jump in the the mustang or whatever but i definitely do still have preferences to to other cars that i feel, feel like are better suited to my style of driving i do feel like that the mustang is one of those cars that you're gonna have to have a banging setup bro to to, to be able to compete your setup is going to have to be banging and, you know, you're going to have to drive it in a special way to be very, very fast. And there's, there's a few cars like that in, in the game. I feel like the Porsche is another one of those cars, especially maybe not the, the, the 992 as much, but the Porsches before that. Definitely, definitely, you had to have a certain technique in driving to be really fast in those cars, you know. Um Definitely, you have to have a bit, a little bit of a different skill set. Not everyone can be faster than them, so it's interesting, man. But I'll leave you guys for the rest of the lap. I did put the first setup that I made for this car in my Patreon as well. I might just drop this one in there for free as well, because a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people, because of my opinion on the first time I tried the car, they were like, "Yep, yeah, nope, I'm going back to the car I'm normally using." So I might just drop again. I might drop the my the new setup I made for this car. I might drop the new setup. In my patreon for free as well so you guys can jump on my patreon and try that for free and um yeah anyway guys i uh, appreciate you guys stopping by cryptic tmg i'll play the rest of the lap for you and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe peace